fight. Oh, there's still two more episodes. It's okay, this is a lot of fun. I think it's a constant voice of doing this where I'm like hyperventilating and not getting him an oxygen. Oh, no, do not skip. Greetings, my lady. You look exquisite. Might have the honor of this dance. My apologies, I'm afraid the only pleasure I'm in interested in sharing tonight is rapport. And I have my eye on someone already. <laughs> there he is, Count Delshi. I have to cozy up to him and retrieve the necklace somehow. All before the sun sets, no less. So, you fancy the Count, hmm? I would advise you reconsider. He's a man of great education whose heart lies only with those possessed of considerable intellectual stature. We ought to get on splendidly then. I will go on and introduce myself. Um... Bah! This dreadful fracas has yet to provide me with even the bare shred of dignified discourse surrounded by fools I am. How do you do, Count? Might have been your ear for the briefest moments. Hmm? Who are you? My identity matters not. To lay a lady's secrets bare is an act of violence, for tis far more charming she remain. An enigma. Oh, why? I'd recognize line from the devil's bowman anywhere. You are indeed a woman of taste to quote such a masterful opera. Oh, ho, ho. Your compliment suits me, sir. Pray tell me, which works stir your heart? More than opera. My true passion is for literature. I am particularly smitten of late by a work called Adair's Tears. Surely you've had the pleasure? Ah, yes. A work by the philosopher Codros Cod Codra Codros. Toys R Us. I believe the faint passages, mourning the world aloud is the only way to change it. <laughs> You've a discerning eye indeed. <laughs> to speak with, ooh, whoops. To speak with gentlemen of quality, dig your well of knowledge, both broad and deep. <laughs> My mother tells us. <laughs> I would speak with you at greater length, Count. Surely we could parlay on any number of subjects, no? Well, thank you for the praise, Lachery, sir. Uh, that would be fun to be a voice actor. But of course! Tis a delight to discover you are not a mere fool in costume. Butler! Butler! <laughs> Butler! Yes, master. Here are your beverages. Let us drink before we speak to the meeting of two intellectuals. Indeed, to meeting out of quality. Ding! Oh, she's pretty much her whoring her way up the unit. I cannot believe you can speak at such length! Ho ho ho! What an auspicious meeting this is! I am no match for you, Lord. You are a paragon of refinement. I'm sorry, we're getting Southern Belle right here. Refinement and taste. And this manner, decorated with such first rate art, it's much more. Museum than hell. You make fine curator indeed. Ho oh, ho! And you have some aesthetic sense to uh, sense too? Sorry. Oh, collecting art is my passion, and also mixing up words and getting my tongue twisted. Nevertheless, what I have displayed here is but a portion of my collection. Where my most exquisite treasures are housed within a room deeper inside my man. I just added it to a most stunning necklace of Eastern origin. Go! Oh, oh. Hmm. Gracious, tell me, Count, would you honor me with a tour of this room? Oh, but of the course! Follow me! Yes, that necklace is so close I can taste it. Not that I'm in any hurry to do so. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> now I present to you in this dark but not creepy and not shady at all room, my collection room. And before it's like a room of like BDSM stuff. It's pitch black, my lord. Is your collection really here? Of course! And what I've collected... <laughs> Whoa, he's charging up his necklace, yo. Oh, my body is going numb. Oh. Despite my appearance, I possess some knowledge of the magical arts. <laughs> I've bewitched you with the most marvelous spell to help you <laughs> relax. Clearly, you and I have a different definition of marvelous. Hmm. It would seem you've managed to resist it somewhat, but how will you fare against <laughs> this? Ooh. This is getting kind of rapey. Butler, put her in the usual place, and after that. <laughs> Where in the world am I? It's freezing. Rise and shine, my sweet kitten. How are you feeling? I must say, this does not rank highly above my favorite wake-up calls. You bound this rope too tight for my liking. Oh, how I love a woman with some bite. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, I'm afraid. More importantly, where are we? A storage shed on the grounds of my manor. Or at least, that's what it appears to be. It's actually my secret workshop. Boom, boom, boom. A workshop for what, pray tell? I told you that my passion is collecting works of art. That was a lie. Well, it depends how you define works of art. I will one day sell the art to have amassed and use the wrestling sum to bribe the Empress, assuring my rise in the world. <laughs> how positive and material. You've yet to demonstrate surpassing ambition yourself, and in truth, my sights extend far beyond mere oil on canvas. My true passion is for ice sculpture. To that end, I use my magic to keep my workshop as cold as a snowy mountain. I slowly freeze my guests in here, turning them into exquisite depictions of a human form. Intellectuals, frozen in ice. I'm not talking about the movie, by the way. It is a great movie, fantastic movie, by the way. Five out of five stars. Bearing anguished expressions of utter despair. I am not a purveyor of art, but a purveyor, a connoisseur of misery. I've dealt with a lot of men in my time, but none, never one as truly perverted, perverse as you. Ho, ho, truly you honor me. Ho, ho, ho. Now, the honor has already grown late. I must see my party guests off. It's how, how late? Wait, has the sun set? Long before you are aroused from your slumber. On top of being kidnapped by this perverse old man, it's a long time past the bedtime. Bedtime, I agreed upon with Valix. This is bad. Oh yeah, keep this dude away from Lily. Oh wait, what's happening with my voice?